Since the beginning of all life forms in our planet, organisms found a way to adapt in an ever-changing environment in a process called metamorphosis. Metamorphosis is a biological process in which animal body parts such as eyes, antenna, legs, wings, etc. develop before they are capable of reproduction. It could begin after birth or hatching and or a series of life development called molting. So, how does it happen? Well, metamorphosis could either be called simple, since this group of animals do exhibit simple transformation and for the reason that they lack a developmental stage called pupation, as in grasshoppers, dragonflies, and cockroaches, or complex, in which case all the developmental stage is complete and is well distinct from each other like for example the butterflies, moths, and beetles, although there are other morph homes for much more specific reasons. Regardless of the type of metamorphosis in the animal kingdom, what triggers the change are surprisingly the same. Two hormones are found to be accountable. The first one, the ectosome or demolting hormone, is the one who signals whether or not it's the right time to transform. While the other one, the juvenile hormone, is the one that dictates whether the transformation is from a larva to larva or a larva to pupa. That is due to a certain threshold mechanism by which the juvenile hormone is to remain its high concentration in the body in order to produce a larva-to-larva -larva transformation. However, as the body begins to grow, the hormone becomes diluted and so its concentration begins to drop and in that case, a larva-to-pupa transformation will eventually happen. As the body begins to pupate, two major things is about to happen. First, the larva's body will be destroyed and lies by its own enzymes. And two, a different population of cells called imaginal cells inside the larva's body will become activated and soon to develop into different parts and organs necessary to achieve the last developmental stage. And finally, after several days inside a protective shell, the new form is complete. Sooner or later, it will find a mate, lay eggs, and hopefully, try to produce many more butterflies.